Mega Mike the Movie Man. And today I got a Mega Movie Plan. Today I'm back with another Mega Review for you all. We're going to be reviewing the movie Moonfall. Yes, I'm going to go over my general thoughts of the movie. So this is spoiler free. No spoilers here. I'm going to go over the good, the bad, and my recommendation on whether this movie is worth your time or not. So stick around to the end of the video for that recommendation. But without further ado, let's get started. If you're watching this, then you know by now a huge problem is heading our way. An emergency meeting is being called at our usual place immediately. Free bagels. Now to get into the good of the movie first. So the basic premise of Moonfall is it's a world ending story where the moon gets out of orbit and it's going straight to Earth. Now it's a natural disaster film on a big blockbuster budget and we know exactly what we're getting with this one. It's directed by Roland Emmerich and we've seen him do films like this before. So we know what to expect out of this one. Now what's great in this one is that the three main characters are played by three awesome actors. You got John Bradley, Patrick Wilson, Halle Berry, and they do their absolute best in this movie. They try to sell every line they have with really strong emotion and performance here. And so I thought they did a great job as the main characters, especially John Bradley's character. I thought he was very likable and quirky and just very entertaining to see on screen. So I cared most about his character. Now this movie is definitely a entertaining film in terms of just the ridiculousness that embraces. I mean this is a completely outrageous film and there's so many things that are happening to the earth that are like these natural disaster side effects of the moon coming closer and when you see it on screen it does look really cool. Not always realistic but it does visually look really cool and so i liked all the natural disaster part of it it made it feel like a fun ride of a movie there's even a few action scenes thrown in there some that felt a little bit like the last of us some that felt like fast and furious and so i thought we were on a roller coaster ride of a movie for parts of it so to me that was all fun. Everything dealing with the moon and the mission and them trying to go up there and figure out this problem. I thought that was really interesting. And especially when it gets into some twist story elements about the moon in the second half of the movie. I thought those were actually pretty well done. They were intriguing. It kind of spiced up the movie a little bit. Made it a little bit different than other movies. And so I was all on board with that premise so when they were focusing on that main story plot i was definitely having fun with this movie i've made a shocking discovery now to get into the bad of the movie now the writing here is not that great there's a lot of cringy lines of dialogue i mean you're going to hear certain lines in this movie and be like oh really did they really just say that and you're even going to be able to guess and predict some lines of dialogue and you're like oh they're probably going to say this now and it's just as cringy as you think it's going to be so even though the three main characters the actors do a good job selling their performance i mean they try to sell those lines they work the best with what they got they are just not given a lot to work with and so just how this movie is put together overall script wise is not giving it any benefit and how it's edited and this whole side story plot of side characters you just don't care about. When it's focusing on the son and the rest of the family members and their little side quests, you're like, why are we over here? Let's get back to the main moon mission story. That's the interesting part. But no, it keeps jumping to the side characters. Now, Charlie Plummer and Michael Pena are good actors, but they're just underutilized here in this random side quest that we really don't care about. I care more about the moonfall mission let's get back to that so the side quest doesn't work in this movie it's not very entertaining and engaging and so this script overall just is very messy and also in this movie you have to suspend your disbelief quite a bit now i know we're not expecting shakespeare here i know there's going to be some logic issues going into a big blockbuster disaster movie like this but there's some plot holes here there's some things that just don't make sense on the actions these characters take that go against what they're actually trying to accomplish they just make really really dumb decisions and so you just have to suspend your disbelief 
a lot in this movie. Like, it gets into some ridiculous levels here, like almost Fast and the Furious 9 ridiculousness. And to me, that just doesn't work with a movie like this. So yeah, all those side elements I did not enjoy, and that's a big negative. They could have cut that out, made this a shorter movie, an hour and a half movie, and that would have been a lot better. It's on airplane mode. Now to get into that recommendation, I promise you all. Now, is this movie worth your time or not? So I think this was an entertaining film overall. Yes, there's a lot of script problems here. Yes, it's not very well executed in a lot of regards, but it's still entertaining enough. And even the silly parts you might have fun with. So you might laugh at a few lines of dialogue, maybe unintentionally, but there's still laughter there, which means there's still some fun there. So overall, I think this is an entertaining disaster film. And if you like those disaster type of films, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed here. If you like A Day After Tomorrow, Independence Day, anything that's like disaster sci-fi type of movie, I think you're gonna have fun with this one. But just know this isn't like the top quality disaster movie. It's definitely going to be mid-tier disaster film. So I think most people are at least going to have an okay time with it. If not, enjoy it. I don't think anybody's going to be like, wow, this movie was amazing. But I also don't think you're going to be really bored with the movie at all. So I think it's kind of in that middle range. And you know if you like a film like this. So that is my recommendation. It's going to be worth some people's time. But other people are definitely going to be able to skip it. Because I don't see this being on anybody's top 10 of the year or anything like that. You are the unidentified source? Oh, yes. So that will do it for today's mega review of Moonfall. Let me know in the comments below, have you seen this film yet and what did you think of it? Or are you planning to see it and what gets you excited about it? Let's have that movie discussion down below. Also, if you're just discovering my channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe right now. I'm going to get you tons of movie reviews, movie rankings, movie news, movie haul videos all year long and I don't want you to miss out on any of that movie entertainment value so subscribe right now turn on that notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video also like the video and this is Mega Mike the movie man reminding you to make every day a movie day